And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. All right, Andrew. Well, today is considerably warmer than yesterday was. So would today be a great day to go catch the new uh, family friend out at the zoo? Mm, it's a little windy out there, so it's making it feel a little bit colder than the actual temperature. Maybe tomorrow, though, highs in the 80s. All right. Well, I gave it a shot, you know, yeah. try, well, try to help. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> We're going to feel more and more like spring over the next few days. Anyway, here's a look at what we have with clouds and radar right now. We've got a lot of cloud cover out there. Some breaks in the clouds here or there, like in portions of Panola County. Shelby County down into Trinity County, but right now for the most part we're seeing mostly cloudy skies. Still, despite the cloud cover, temperatures have been able to warm into the 50s and 60s out there. We already have 64 degrees in Lufkin and Henderson, 61 right now in Tyler, 59 in Jacksonville and Longview. As we head into this afternoon, despite the cloud cover, highs in the upper 60s and low 70s, which is a degree or two below average for this time of the year. One of the reasons we are warming up despite the cloud cover is the fact that we have strong southerly winds helping to bring in warmer and moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. And we're going to see the humidity gradually slowly increasing over the next couple of days here, but the temperatures will also be increasing as well. Here is the normal high 71 degrees right now. We'll climb above that for Wednesday and Thursday with highs both the days in the 80s. Even as we get a cold front moving in on Friday, we'll cool off a little bit, but actually not get that cold with those high temperatures staying in the 70s through the weekend and into the very start of next week. We'll see those high temperatures drop back to average for this time of year. Overall, though, with in the next uh, over the six to 10 day temperature outlook, this is from March 26th, day six to March 30th, which is day 10 here. Uh, that is this Sunday through next Thursday. We look to see temperatures generally above average for this time of the year going really into the end of the month. Now, I don't think it will be as warm or consistently as warm as it was in the first half of the month, but still uh, it will be warmer nonetheless over a cooler weather pattern that we have seen recently. Now, late Thursday, we will start to see a threat for severe weather develop in our far northwestern areas. This is really Thursday night into early Friday morning where an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm cannot be ruled out, but widespread severe weather is not expected. Looking into Friday, though, we have a much uh, wider uh, area of severe weather potential, which extends all the way from Kentucky down into southeast Texas, including portions of deep east Texas. So we'll have to watch this closely. It does look like Friday, especially during the first half of the day into the early afternoon. We'll see the better chances of thunderstorms in our area becoming severe. Now to recap for our day today, we'll see highs in the upper 60s, mostly cloudy skies. Can't rule out a few light showers. We had one move through the Tyler area around 9. 30 ish. We do look to see winds out of the south today at 20 miles per hour, so it is pretty breezy out there today. For tonight, it's mostly cloudy. A light shower is still a possibility as temperatures drop down to the middle 60s. We'll see winds overnight out of the south at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Now we will see those highs returning to the 80s tomorrow. We'll see the storm threat increasing late Thursday into the day on Friday. Saturday will dry things out and see plenty of sunshine to go around and then more showers returning as we head into Sunday and Monday of next week. And then for deep east Texas, we are going to see those highs return to the mid 80s by the day on Thursday. Most of the day Thursday is dry. It's not really until Thursday night into Friday when the rain and storm chances pick up for deep east Texas. And then we'll dry things out for the day on Saturday. For your latest weather forecast, you can head on over to our website that is KETK.